Hi guys, um, today I'm going to do a few different sets of coasters. I am excited. I got a whole box of 4x4 ceramic tiles from Lowe's and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe them clean, uh, put something on the back to cover the back, basically tape the back to cover the back and then for my paint, I am going to do um, a few different sets of blues. I feel like blues have more demand and I love blues. The color blues and greens mixed together. Turquoise is my favorite. Um, and then when they dry, I will resin them and they will look something like this. I've also got these self-adhesive cork tiles from Amazon. Um, that I will put on the back when they're done and it makes them look more professional. And I also have a stamp to stamp it. If you have one, that'll look great. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Let's have fun. I'm gonna do a round shape. this different color next to it we have turquoise and lighter blue right here so this is the cell activators I've pre-mixed and it is Australian Floetrol and Liquitex Titanium White. Dab it in there. And make sure I don't have too much of it. And here we go. What did we get? Anything exciting? Not that many cells as I thought. Let's try it one more time. I am not getting cells and I don't quite know why. So I might have to do a different technique and that's okay. I love trying out new things. So I'm going to do a little bit of this in here and I'm going to do the blow technique. Okay, we are getting somewhere. Yes, I like this so much better. Don't you? Almost looks like an iris. So I meant you to be right in the middle. Okay, yes, we're getting some cells I can do this, like bring some of the white in. Can we do that here? I need to figure out what's going on with my cell activators. 
actually, I think I have an idea of why. I think my cell activator is too thick. Let's try it one more time. Yes. You see how I'm getting cells now? Yeah, something was definitely odd. I'm gonna do that no matter, because I need to get a similar. So if I've learned anything is that when you do coasters, you want to make sure to get the sides off while the paint is there. We are going to continue with the swipe technique. So let's see what we get. So right off the bat, I'm gonna start with a circle this time. See if I can get I know it's very chaotic, but I want to create art that is hard to duplicate. And I'm hoping this chaos means no one else can ever replicate this. And that's why I love fluid art. Maybe not all pieces are, you know, so crazy, insanely awesome. But the fact that you cannot duplicate these paintings, they're not portraits, they're not nature. They're the kind of abstract that there is no way unless it's basically a print, you're not gonna get the same thing. And that's why they are so valuable. 
that's why fluid art is so valuable.